Before the Olympics, the question was, when are you going to get a real job? After the Olympics, the question was, when are you going to do an Ironman? Can you hear it? Yeah. Okay, we're out. Right. Let's go and get them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I got into cycling thanks to my mom's 40 year crisis. <laughs> so she turned 40 in the year of 2000 and she wanted to do this big adventure with me before I got old and boring that she was afraid that was going to be. We didn't have any push bikes and her dream was to cycle from Sweden down to Italy and put her feet into the Mediterranean on her 40th birthday. So we bought two old bikes through the newspaper advertising. This is before the mobile phones and internet and it was kind of old school with paper maps. We drew a lineal, like a line straight from Sweden to Italy on the map and then we picked out the small roads next to the line and we bought panniers and sleeping sacks and we had an old tent from the garden that we slept in uh, and we started biking and it took us 19 days halfway down in Bamberg in Germany we had to buy a new tent because we woke up every morning and it was dropping down rain from the night so it was like wet in the tent and we had like rain in the face and she realized she had to like pull out her wallet and get a new tent so we could sleep a little bit better. We fought our way down over the Brenner Pass in uh, Austria, into Italy. And we got down to Italy on our 40th birthday. Uh, and we had dinner in Bibione, just east of Venice. And it was the biggest adventure of my life, I guess, so far. Uh, and when we came back, I had built up a very different relationship with my mother, with biking, and with me as from being between 15 and 16 years old, I realized I could do more stuff than what I thought I could do. Uh, and also found the joy of biking. Why Ironman? Why Ironman? I've been, also in my head, I've been kind of struggling with that 2012 and I wanted to go back and I wanted to do it better. The problem was the only better I could do was winning gold at a Olympic Games and that's quite like a narrow position and it's a very easy goal to miss because you're only giving yourself one thing to do to go one better uh, and I was struggling with injuries for quite some time and it was always running which was good in a way because it forced me or it gave me an opportunity to go into cycling so I went into by accident, basically racing uh, Swedish champs, going on to European champs, going on to world champs and a couple of world tours. And it improved my biking massively. And with Kalle at my, my home, <laughs> doing a lot of biking together and him sorting out some technical stuff and trying to improve some bits and bobs, the biking turned into be quite a strength. So where to go in triathlon when biking is your strength? It's definitely, it's long course. It's not ITU anymore, it's long course. Um, I went into half Ironman. To be honest, half Ironman. It's half Ironman. It's kind of something in the middle. And it's always been there, like the question, like when, when are you gonna start with Ironman? Before the Olympics, the question was, when are you gonna get a real job? After the Olympics, the question was, when are you gonna do an Ironman? And I think in my head, I finally got to the point where like, okay, now is the time to do an Ironman. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.